YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is City of Gangsters Strategy and Tactics, episode 23. So, in our last episode, got a few more things set up and a whole crap ton of missions completed. Uh, but we still are working on a few projects. Um, it's taking a lot longer than I thought I would to upgrade this, so we should focus our efforts. We also, now that we have excess pipes, get this upgraded. Nima! Do us a favor. Oh, you still have stuff uh, on here and you're out of movement points. Actually, everyone's out of movement. Well, no. Chester. Chester. You've got nothing going on right now. You need to come home, my friend. You need... You can't do anything without cash monies. Actually, you should go ferry the pipes. I think that is the correct answer for you. Um, let me just remind myself where the pipes are. Here they are. Well, some of the pipes are. I think we have some excess pipes over here. I also have some Rakija that needs selling. And you're out of cash, too, so... I think... I think, uh, yeah. We still need... we still need to do some exploring to get some more steel barrels to get our, um... cider production online, but we can make do with what we got. Okay, now... Uh, Mikal! Oh yeah, Mikal! I took you off your route because I was wondering what the heck was going up with the uh, going on with the Crocs. Um, we I, and I did some retooling of the routes here uh, before. Now, when we upgrade here, we're gonna need. I think it's 150 Crocs just for the upgrade. Yeah, so we're actually gonna need to front load some extra Crocs over here. Because I, I did do a, a special delivery for um, here to get enough crocs for the uh, production line. Alright, next turn. Saving, please wait. Alright. Um... Oh. Wait, Paul, what are you doing over here? Oh yeah, the Applejack. Uh, Ruby's Fruit Co., please. Where they will be liquidated for free. All right, so Paul Cook, my friend, you, um, I need to assign you to, actually assign you to here. This is our, this is our crock line here. And actually, uh, since you've got some of that, one thing I did do is, um, is um, have a uh, pick up hard cider, drop off hard cider, uh, since he has to spin by there anyway. And since he's got a fractional amount, and I don't want that taking up space, I might as well have him start with that step and then start proper. Um, and Miguel. Creased relationship, um, maybe? Now go for opportunist. More volume that way. Okay. Uh, so, oh wait, we don't. Yeah, we don't. So Nima, what do you have in your car? You've got got some apples which need to make their way over here to our. Um, Let's see. Yes. I was possibly sending Nima over to that, but we'll... Yeah, there we go. Over here, Nima. Drop off the apples. Oh wait, no, we don't drop the apples here. We drop it there, elsewhere. 
Silly me. Yeah, the apples... Yeah, I was in the right place. Drop off the apples. And, um... Yeah, we're, these these pipes need to go up to our other place here. Um, is there anything else I can take up here that would be um, logical? So I think actually it was Chester that you were going to do that. Now, hang on, before I start wasting any more action points, let me remind myself how many... Um, how much I need here. Eight pipes. So I will move exactly eight pipes. Chester Mancina. Eight pipes, please. Thank you. You get up there. All right, now we just need cash. Chester. I think we just produced in the cider house, too. Yeah, come on up here. Let's uh, unload. Uh, well, nine crocs worth. Where's... Uh, I, I, I do wish they would let you label your bulk buyers. Is it you down here that's a bulk buyer? There we go. That's a bulk buy. And then... So yeah, you have cash. Nima, you also have cash. How much cash do we need to upgrade this thing anyway? 800 bucks, that's it? Nima, go, go, take, go help us out. Because me, yeah. You drop those things off. And then, Michael, I'm actually going to assign you to this one, our uh, Rikija. Um, one, so, yeah, let's assign Miguel. And then off you go. And then we have a couple more routes that we need to set up here. And we also need some more drivers. But we also need... Um, one, we have, we have room for one more, uh, truck here. Alright, Nima, come on up here, drop off some cash. No reason for small amounts to, of cash to sit here. Build. Construction will take three turns. That's fine by me. Now we do all. We are also going to have to rebuy our expansions here. So we are going to need how much total cash? We need six hundred, eight hundred. Um, so fifteen for to get everything else back online. We can we can do that later. Uh, let's, let's find our, uh, let's, let's just offload some of this. I think one of these two is a bulk buyer. Yep. Uh, right on the nose. What are you, applejacking? No, thank you. Yeah, I, I've made the executive decision that I want to, um... I want to make sure that our um, uh, we I want to focus our efforts uh, up the whiskey uh, tech tree. All right, let's go get some lumber because we need that to upgrade our uh, speakeasy here. Yeah, corner speakeasy. Yeah, we just need the lumber and some extra cash, but that's fine. 
because at this point we we definitely need the extra digestion now especially since we're stacking all these extra things in here jared dudley you just need a place to offload your gin oh there's a place down here Let's talk about that cost. We don't have that relationship. That's fine. We will see. Oh, you're you're essentially a bulk buyer. And so yeah, we can we can fix the cost next time. What you got going here? Would you like to a billy club? No, that's fine. I appreciate the offer though. We've got a little bit something more than a billy club. All right, we do have the ability to hire another driver um, or another manager, but a, a driver is what we want right now. Um, let's see here, crew list. People looking to join my crew. And yeah, we want someone who's a driver. And having having someone who's good at weapons is not a bad thing. Agile and Enforcer is like a pretty good one uh, for for a more aggressive build. Be your way over there. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's let's go for you. So Jared, come on up here. We'll get you next turn the bow oh yeah you're you're doing our exploration no yeah I know I know the bow thank you what do you want why don't you like me oh they're just irritable they just don't like people in general Huh. They're edible too. Just a two-door car? No thank you. Fair enough. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll go back here. What does this guy do? We don't know what this uh, place does either. All right, next turn. All right, our roots are doing their thing. Purple cone, grape concentrate, that's, no, that's fine. Cigarettes, not interested. Hmm, fruit store, harassment. What do you normally sell? Crocs, that's fine. Those two are just beating the crap out of each other, so that problem should solve itself. <laughs> All right, Chester. What was I going to have you do, Chester? Actually, you know what? You need to drop some cash off, my friend. No, not the bow, you freaking dolt. Chester. Game, come on. Get it together. Drop some cider off there for digestion purposes. Drop your cash off from there for digestion purposes. Um, I think the next version will digest the counterfeit wine too. If not, then we'll take that. Actually, I don't think it does. Corner Speakeasy does not digest that wine. So we will take we will take the um, the counterfeit wine, so we can rebuild our cash manually. Because I do know of plenty of places that want to buy the counterfeit wine. All right, so let's go. That same place, that same person down there, and they like us now too. 
So we can uh, we can hit them up for um, a better price on the wine. Oh, it counts as a heavy, even though we didn't change the price. All right, whatever. Uh, where else has counterfeit? Of course, our our lovely ladies uh, uh, up here, the the. The thirsty girls, of course they want that, and they like, and I think we've negotiated with them for it. All right, Nima, you got to get us some lumba. Got something for me? Good. Um, yeah, we can buy some Crocs while we're here, but no, let's, let's get the... Get the lumber first. Eight of it. We need two more lumber, but I know there's at least one more place nearby, but we can buy the crocs while we're here. Ten of them, sure. And I think there's one more lumber seller. Yeah, up here. They should have two lumber for us. Lumber. One, two. Perfect. Oh yeah, we didn't finish uh, discussing our arrangement. Well, she's not a great, she's not actually the great uh, negotiator here. Let's uh, pick up our checks here. We can dump the crocs off here, and then we'll get the um, the lumber over there next turn, and then we'll we'll we will be on our way to upgrade. All right, you got distracted by that. You should not have come this way, and I even told you to stop driving, but no. So you're gonna just waste your turn. Oh yeah, someone was going to hire someone up here, wasn't I? I should have done that with Nima. Oh no, wait, I would... Uh, no, I was supposed to do that with him. You get back there. That was my fault. That was not the game's fault. So let's do, actually, let's do you first. Even though, yeah, you just ignored me here. And now you can't reach it. All right, F it. You're the explorer now, and you're the one that's going to go pick us up. Our new crew member. Agile and ugly. Yep, good enforcers. All right, and that's our maxed, we've maxed out our crew here. Um, and you can, um, you can get, uh, yeah, that four-door sedan. So Zendika, I think you need to go and get us. Oh, you already... Oh, that was already in the car, right. I was about to say, it's like, you came with a gun? Okay. Uh, but no, you need to get... You need to start helping us out with bottles, because our bottle delivery here um, is in, in need. So let's find us some bottles. Small bottles, that is. Plenty of small bottles here. Oh, these are the small bottles that my uh, uh, other operation picks up. Is there another set of small bottles? Well, let's just see what's on the way. Um, buy small bottles. Talk about that price. Cut a near deal. Ooh, plenty of them. I can fit plenty. 
But these things, despite them being called small bottles, take up a lot of room. All right, so you, uh, Nima, you're going to dump the crocs here because that's another thing that we need. Uh, we can also pick up a lot of money from here. In fact, there's no reason for money to be sitting here. Lumber, cash. And we speak easy. Four turns. Let's do it. Now we're going to have to rebuy our expansions, but... Slightly increases. So this is like an AoE thing, too. Um, and actually, I might, I might, um, upgrade it again, because we have the small ones before I rebuy the expansions here. Don't mind if I do. Just give me three Rekija? Sure. We got plenty of sellers for that. Um, yeah, you gotta find us, um, where's our counterfeit wine? And let's turn on Rakija at this, yeah, yeah, we got, we got, we know where to go. We got two things for you. Ooh, what do you want? Grow your business a little bit? Bathtub gin. And backroom beer. I'll accept it because we can get the gin easily, and we might be able to get backroom beer from uh, from a quest. I'm not building backroom beer, but we can find it. Um, right then. So, counterfeit wine. Sell the rest. Rakija. Sell the rest. Beautiful. Yeah, 134. Yeah, they love us. Absolutely love us. All right, you need to help out on the small bottle front because we otherwise our uh, our thing isn't going to we're, we're not going to have enough. Uh, oh, you're out of action points. Well, then let's get you to a place that sells small bottles. Oh, like here. Although, do you have a lot of movement left? You do. Is there a more distant place that we can uh, small bottle it up? So we can fetch it from distant lands and what have you. Hmm. Yeah, over here. Alright, let's make it happen. And we'll pick up crocs while we're at it, if, if uh, we don't fill the whole thing with the small bottles. All right, Nima, you just have a lot of cash. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this place my cash depository. We know they're going to digest the gin. All right, so... There's a bottle seller near here, too, isn't there? Yeah, there is. So let's pick that up. Because, again, I don't want to miss the production cycle. 63. That's better. 
Oh yeah, this is this is the one that's on the same thing. We're still a little short. No, we're not. Ooh, and we were pushing that a little bit here, but we we have we have enough for the production cycle, and that's what counts. I wish there was like a little warning saying like you will not have enough for the next cycle. Like this one. Wow, that's a lot of moonshine. Actually, we can complete a quest. Um, 100 moonshine is what we can take, which is really freaking good. Um, and then, yeah, bootleg whiskey. 80 of that needs to go down here. And then we can just find a buyer for the rest of it. Boom! Bootleg whiskey. And do you buy... you don't buy... yeah, you don't buy the cheap stuff. What skills do you have? Brick wine? Nope. Yeah, you don't... you don't... you don't want the... the good stuff. Um, anyone? No, we're already... you're not well. Food dyes. Bottled whiskey. Now that's not the same stuff as the expensive stuff we sold to the hotel. But let's, um, let's, uh, let's, let's see where, how much demand there is for this. This is like tier three. Not, yeah, not aged whiskey, bottled whiskey. This, I think bottled whiskey is the tier three, aged whiskey is the tier four. Um, of course the girls want the bottled whiskey, but there's not a lot. So I might, yeah, I might leapfrog the bottled whiskey production and go straight up to aged whiskey once I get the skills for it. Because we know we have a demand for the aged whiskey. A huge demand. And we got like, what, $4,000 when we dropped 40 of those things that we randomly got from a quest? So, yeah, we're good. Um, right then, let's, um, let's get our moonshine on. Oh, you're out of movement. All right, fine. Jared Dudley, you're, yeah, you've, you've become our explorer now. Unfortunately, you're not as good as an explorer as the bow because you have less movement. All right, well, I guess you're going to chill there. The bow, you hired our new person. I mean, you can help explore. Nothing wrong with that. I was going to send you up here, so why don't I? All right, next turn. Ready to expand. Okay. New operation. Excellent. Someone would like to make me an offer. Okay. All right, you yeah, put you in there. We can pick up uh, some bathtub gin. Who buys that around here? Of course, the ladies do. Because I want to actually have you... You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to transport this gin up to our speakeasy. Because that's going to get digested there. And we're going to pick up some cash here. Um, and then we're going to go see what this deal of the day is. Sparkling cider. 570? Heck yeah. Count me in. And yeah, you're just a universal buyer. Oh, we could buy some sugar. Nope, no we can't. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to... We can't... Now that uh, somebody's... You know, we're no longer expanding, we can set up more fronts. What do you got? Yeah, we can chip in. Make this guy like us again. There. There we go, that's better. They're still willing to buy and sell from us. But now we have a little bit more protection. Alright, do we want to set up any additional um, uh, areas just to pick up stuff? Like one right here would be pretty good. Um, which we might... Actually, we want to use someone who's friendly. Nima should be the one to do that, actually. Let's just offload some of our booze here. There we go. That's better. Probably not for enough for a front, but let's give it a try. And yeah, the, any one of these will, will be... Um, help me out. Now, is this guy... What's, what's here? The kind, compassionate, forgiving. 1,200. Dang. Corners are getting expensive. 1,200. Some personality quirks will allow you to get them for cheaper, but yeah, guess not. Looks like we might need to wait a little bit on that one. Where is this one? Right in the countryside, twelve hundred bucks. We should pay. We should. We should do that. Now let's uh, let's spin by here real quick. You've got plenty of neutral alcohol for the moment. Let's get that moonshine going. We'll shuffle it over here so it can get liquidated. Yeah, it needs more. It needs a refill to... And then get you up to 1200. Yeah, there we go. 1200 bucks. Let's see what that gets me. Ooh, um backroom beer. We can we can grab that for the quest. Um Yeah, we'll Ruby's fruit co it. That was absolutely worth it. Because now we can grab some of that, um, some of the whiskey. Um, get, grab it um, and ten of the backroom beer, and um, get that get that going. Get that other the gin running. We also still need to do this one Rakija one. How's our front doing? Oh yeah, we can. I guess we can keep expanding then. Yeah, I'm not quite ready to do another uh, thing here, but I might as well buy some Crocs while we're here. Actually, let's just do a special Croc run here from some Croc places that we don't normally hit up. That's better. Because I don't like seeing my moonshine operation um, be low on crocs. Hmm. 
Miguel. What part of the delivery are you on? Does it say? Oh yeah, you're not even doing you're not the one doing the crocs. Paul Cook is the one doing the crocs. And you didn't execute that drop off the hard cider step, my friend. You're buying and then yeah, you're about to drop off the stoneware crocs here. All right, fair enough. Yeah, we already did that one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, as we get more uh, territory, we will be offered more stuff um, and be able to get more more crew slots. But we still still need to to actually build something in this building. Um, I think that's uh, Chester. Chester. All right, Chester, what can you do for me? Hmm, a little reconnaissance. Inconvenient. Hmm. Buying or selling? Evelyn? You buy or sell? Oh, just booze. Oh, well, hey there. Let's vulture. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm glad I can't went there with a with an empty truck. Holy crap! Bottled brandy? Counterfeit why are you getting this stuff? Holy crap! Well that was one heck of a deal there. The Kyle crew. Yeah, you know, you know, you're not... Well, let's go back down to that one place where we can sell, like, everything. Um, let's talk about the cost. Four cases of the beer. And yeah, we're just gonna sit here and sell the rest of our little things here. Dang! Well, um, yeah, pretty soon. Actually, let's roll the turnover before we end our thing here. How we doing on our... On our speakeasy? Two turns. Two turns until we get a nice, shiny bit of booze. And yeah, now this will start consuming gin, it'll start consuming moonshine, it'll start consuming applejack and brick wine and also cider and, and beer. Um, we'll, we'll have cider for it soon. Uh, but yeah, looking very good. All right, folks. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!